I'm Amanda Pock, and get ready to dish it. So Tony Canada wants a recommendation for some new caterers. So we went out and toasted the town to find some of the best. We're very custom in what we do. We're a completely boutique catering company. And so that means we don't have any menu packages. But the first one we have is a mini Italian BLT. Um, and it's got prosciutto on it, obviously, instead of your standard bacon. Right. And then it's also got a citrus aioli in there. Nice. Again, you know, you can only do so much with skewers. We want to keep it different. Right. And you can actually take a bite of the sugar cane. No one really eats the whole skewer. Right. But you can definitely take a bite with the shrimp. Um, That's so funny. Should. This is the one I want to try next. Perfect. <laughs> I think you should. Do you want a bite too? No, I'm okay, but thank you. That has a pistachio crust. The thing about this dish that has to happen is that the lamb has to be so tender. Yes. Because when you eat it, you're not, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then the next in our lineup is a spring roll. Um, it's very local, very fresh, very simple, vegetarian, um, and it's got a red chili sauce. I loved being entertained at the entertaining company because all the food looked like I was sitting in a fine dining restaurant. Check this out. So we caught off with MJ Catering at the Gene Siskel Film Center, where there are tons of stars on the silver screen, but to me, the star was the food. Uh, so we have a grilled pineapple sandwich from the... Uh, Yum, it looks tonight. great. That looks delicious. Thank you very Look much. Look at that salsa. And we have a little pineapple salsa there to go along with it. Everyone's been stopping in awe over these guys, so tell yes, us about yes. that. Yes, it's similar to a beef wellington, except we have a, it's a, uh, the Hugo pouch, so we played on that a little bit. Cool. With the time for the movie with the time. For the whole and old school on. dishes are sort of like a trend right now in they're, food. They're back in Okay, style. they're back in style, yes. Yeah. Cool, and tell Definitely. us about this. Uh, this is asparagus and griot tart. Um, which is basically similar to a quiche. That looks great. And no party is complete without a great cocktail. William Grant and Sons worked really hard to make sure that the drinks paired perfectly with the menu. From chandeliers to terrariums, cork can make your party rock. the very front on some grilled uh, crostinis, some grilled uh, French, French bread. I have a little Kalamata olive and tomato salad with pickled red onions, a little marinated Spanish white anchovy. My sashimi short stack. It's chili and tamari and citrus marinated ahi tuna and hamachi with a shiso, shiso poached quail egg, dehydrated lotus root, and a yuzu uh, tamari syrup over top. I have a grilled artichoke nacho. Uh, it's great for vegetarians. It's grilled artichoke on a blue corn tortilla with a refried black bean, queso fresco, and a thin slice of fresh jalapeno, just to give a little bit of heat. So Tony, we hope these ideas helped, and don't forget to invite me to the next party. Don't leave me off the list. I know where you live. I will come find you. I will come crash your party. <laughs> I've never crashed a party I haven't liked. Hmm. Do you have a question about Chicago's dining scene? Would you like to be featured on Dish It? We'd love to hear from you. You can find us at watchthroughand2.com or on our Facebook page, or you can tweet and write to me at Amanda Puck.